Hope you guys won't be too disappointed. This part really deals with basic stuff like how do I construct something from scratch? How do I measure and cut parts? How do I clean up edges? How do I file angles? How do I achieve a stable construction? Many may think these are basic modeling skills. What are basic modeling skills? I strongly recommend watching Will Patterson's video on these alleged skills. I put the link in the comment section. I plan to do a series on the build of the wall fence section you saw in the beginning. It'll get more complicated as we are also going to build the fence between the pillars. To all who are going to follow this series and maybe build along with it, good luck and have fun! For the lower portion of the wall I used styrene sheets with a brick profile. You can get those at model railroad shops. Somehow they match our scale quite often and as long as it looks right don't shy away from using stuff like this. The outer blocks have a size of 18 by 25 mm. This came in handy because there was a joint at 25 mm. All I had to do here was cutting along that joint 3 or 4 times. After that it was simple to just snap off the part I needed. To clean up the edges keep holding the file diagonal to the part and work sideways. That way you avoid filing nasty edges into the styrene. A file removes quite a lot of material at each pass you make, depending on how much you press your tool onto the edge. So work carefully and slowly. All that's been removed is gone forever. To get smooth edges I use the sanding stick after filing the part. Now I needed several 80mm wide parts. I worked on the back side of the styrene sheet because it was flat. I marked 18, 36, 54, 72mm and so on close to the upper edge. Then I repeated the same close to the lower edge. After that I connected the corresponding marks with my pencil. I used a cheap but sharp knife and my ruler to cut along the lines. I recommend using a steel or aluminum ruler. I only use my plastic ruler cause I'm used to it and do stuff like this long enough. Usually you just cut into the ruler and you want to cut into the styrene instead. Once the cuts were deep enough it was simple again to snap off all the parts. In order to glue the parts in correct right angles you want to file all connecting edges to 45 degrees. I do this by eyeballing, but the best way to do it is to draw a line on the back side along the edge you want to work on. The distance between the edge and that line equals the thickness of the material. Then you begin filing from that line towards the edge. Your goal is to file exactly to the outer edge and achieve an angle of 45 degrees. 44 degrees would do, but 46 aren't good enough. Ridges should be removed by scraping them off and sanding them. Here you go, two parts filed to 45 degrees make a right angle. For gluing the parts I used Revell Contactor Professional. I recommend using a slow drying glue so you have got enough time to adjust the parts properly. If you're working with the material you need to use super glue for, choose gel. That cures slowly enough to put the parts together neatly. I 
cut squares of 15 by 50 mm from 1 mm plastic sheet. I used them as supports for the inside of the blocks. All they had to do was keeping one angle in the right position. If you worked well with your file and sanding stick, only the tiniest gaps should be visible. To fill them I used super glue. Here's what the finished block looks like. The middle section of the wall was built in an easier way. I just measured the length I needed and cut two pieces. The edges were simply scraped to a right angle. Then I glued pieces of plastic sheet on the insides to connect the brick sheets and give them some support. Here's some dry fitting and views of the three halfway finished pieces. I filed all corners to a slightly rounded shape. Then I used a small rectangular file to rework the joints on the corners. I scraped off the ridges and sanded everything smooth. The last pass was super glue. Done.